filled with children's books. The Anatomy of Melancholy by Robert Burton. There are dark stains splattered on these. I've never seen this language before. Hey, drip from a butt. All the lines are crossed. Onig Atars Gluck und Franz Grillpazer, 1823. Quick, take a seat. The show's about to start. Can't understand this handwriting. Quick, quick, take a seat. Hmm? The books on these shelves are glued onto the bookshelf. So many letters, I wonder who they're from. Dagrupederg Der Psychologin Krankenharg by Carl Ludwig Krollbaum. There are so many coloring books. It's an index of a book. Wish's Guide to Medical Herbs. Oh. For afternoon Tea, Rhymes for Children. This handwriting is so messy. You're leaving me stuck here with her again. With them, I should say. I hope he knocks on my window again tonight. Even if just to kill some time and ease my mood. Take a seat. Welcome to the most incredible of shows, the most amazing and impressive prose of a little girl whose days were counted with none of her wishes ever being granted. Aren't I an impressive poet? Who are you? Don't trouble yourself with petty questions, miss. But do enjoy your stay and please keep your memories close to your heart. Once upon a time, in a very special garden, there was a very special little girl. She loved taking naps outside in the afternoon and doing nothing all day. Such an adorable little slob. In fact, she was such a privileged little girl, she had her very own mountain of sweets. That's not all. Egliette, her best of friends, never left her side. Just like sisters from the same mother. Haha, <laughs> I'm hilarious. Noisy little brat and her stuffed doll, what better combination could there be? Together they were a riot. Known all over the kingdom as the supreme rulers. Or just two silly little kids, I don't know, silly little munters they were. They told each other many secrets, even embarrassing ones. Tea time was a very important event where they discussed very serious matters. Which was the funniest pumpkin in the kingdom, for example? They also had many special cake parties and brains the size of a pea. Egliette was indeed Fleda's best friend and her most important companion. She was also stuffed with the girl's childish ways. One day, however, it started to rain, preventing Fleda from leaving the house. What a shame. 
Inside of Fleda's house was a secret place, so secret no one would ever visit it. Nevertheless, the intelligent girl she is, Fleda decided to wander in anyways. It's not as if a little rain could keep them from having fun. Inside the very secret room was a very secret letter. What could be written in this most amazing letter, Fleda wondered. But what's this? The letter is filled with lies. Just who could have written all those dirty little lies? What were these lies doing in that room? How could they have gotten there? There was no simple way Fleda could believe such ugly lies. There was no way it was Fleda's fault. It could have not been Fleda's fault. Right, right, right? That's right. There was no way Fleda could have been involved in such despicable affairs. Fleda was nothing but a pure little girl. There was no way it could have been Fleda's fault. Simply because there was a very clear culprit. It was all that means girl fault. It was all that means girl fault. Huh. Oh my, things have gotten interesting. What's going on? That was quite a show, wasn't it? Same thing. Oh, that's not good. Those two are still dancing, though. Mr. Rabbit, what happened? This is an obvious jury. We took care of them. You don't mean you've done this yourselves, do you? Well, yes, we have. Wasn't our work done quite beautifully? But why? I thought all you wanted was to dance again. Oh, sweetie, you have yet much to learn, and apparently hatred is still one of those things. How could you do something like this? How could we? You are well aware of what they've done to us, are you not, miss? This still doesn't justify what you've done. How doesn't it justify? Revenge, my dear, is a dish best served cold. Do you understand? Now move along. We are very grateful to your good deeds towards us, after all. We owe you our most pure satisfaction. <laughs> this can't be. I don't want to approach them. Hmm. All the pumpkins are stunned. Oh. Pumpkin charm. The bright limbs are missing. Nope, only one way to go. Cats. Oh no, I'm allergic to cats. Elang Glory, 1846. Sir Meowpolin, the conqueror of Persia. It's a silly painting. Satisfaction, 1713. A sleepy looking cat resting under a broad blue sky. Cat Eye, 1697. The painting of a black cat's amber eye. What might be troubling you, little girl? I I don't know, mister. And what might you not know, little girl? I don't know why they would do something like that. 
I see, listen miss, our existences, no matter how faint they might be, they do serve a purpose and will, in one way or another, affect your own. I see. You can have this, I think it might cheer you up a little. Huh. Fortunately, I can't accompany you on your journey, but I'm sure this will be a, able to reassure you in times of distress. Thank you, mister, you're very kind. Red candy cane decorated with a puffy ribbon. Use? Oh. The queen is waiting for you. Dance with care, my girl. Okay, then. Perfection. 1653. Kitten siblings posing on a fancy red chair. Oro Meow. 1644. A group of cats surrounded by sunflowers. Ah. Okay. Green Egliette ceremony is about to start. How exciting! You're so lucky, miss. I wish I were an honored guest myself. An honored guest? Honored guest, honored guest! Finally, now hurry on. The Queen is waiting for you. Off with your head. Aha, just kidding. Finally, hurry on. Okay. Oh, shiny cakes. Don't eat me. Eat me. Impressive. I know you would be able to reach me. What do you mean? Silence! I have but a couple of matters to address with you, my girl. Firstly, I am hereby announcing your demise, for you will not be advancing further than this very room. Please wait, you can't just... Silence! Secondly, my dear, since you will soon be disappearing for good, I shall pay you my respects. I've had enough with your mediocre attitude, my girl. I shall not tolerate it any further. As much as it is but a foolish gamble, I have made my own move. Now it is time for you to make yours. Please wait, I need you to explain what's going on. Guards! No, please wait! In your hands, my girl. It's your turn to claim what's yours. A beautifully decorated chocolate tiered cake. And what happens with the guard first? Okay, you just die. From that. This time we'll try the left cake and it says don't eat me.
Okay. Eat it. That one. Oh. I'm immune. And I can, I guess, smash you. Back to normal size, I guess. What was that? You shouldn't disturb the dead. The dead? You haven't heard the three knocks, have you? I sure haven't. I hope I don't. Oh. Neglect. Remember, remember just how tender were the queen's sweet little lies of a traitor in disguise. What does this mean? Can't see anything. Okay, there's a door. Pumpkin. I didn't see anything. Don't ask me. It wasn't me. I think I saw someone go into the room on the left. Just don't tell them it was me. Mary, Mary, quite contrary, how does your garden grow with silver bells and cockle shells and pretty maids all in a row? Hmm. Good charm. Locked. Who could have done this? So peaceful and pure, just like Sleeping Beauty. Strong light overflows in between the iron bars, carrying a soft, cool breeze into the room. Yeah. It's coming from this big chest. Oh. Okay, so double. Okay, single. Single.
Double. I had to double interact with it. Okay, can't go down. Oh, can go to the right now. Blue, blue, I'd go blue. I would definitely go with blue. Go with blue, blue. Go with red. Red is the way to go. Go with red. Red, red. There's a note on the table. Hiding my darkened heart in a veil of innocence, I swore. Weeping in the darkness, confiding with the moon, as the sun rises, I put on my golden crown once more, hoping to meet my beloved by the afternoon. Okay. There's a key, though. Uh, brown. That can be stolen or given away, and you will live, yet you cannot live without me. Can I go back? Okay, so I just was having to pick the right one. Because I picked the right one the first time. Can't live without? That's gotta be heart, of course. Why is flamingos falcons and even squirrels? What can all these animals do that silly little girls can't? I think it's fly, but I'm going to do H. Oh, it just loops you back, huh? Very blue. You guys, I choose the wrong one, he just loops back to the beginning. Art. And fly. Aha! Keys. Sparkly golden key shaped like a heart decorated with a small strap. Hmm. Sparkly red key shaped like a bat decorated with a small strap. Sparkly blue key shaped like a moon decorated with a small strap. Bat, moon, or heart. I'll take the heart. I'll take the others? I cannot. Alright, so who is the funny bunny who locked me inside this chest? You're that girl. Who are you? Oh, I'm... I've never seen you around here before. How'd you get here? I just... I see. Did you see who locked me up inside this chest by any chance? Oh no, I didn't. This chest had already locked when I got here. That's a shame. Oh well, that's alright. I'm a good detective, so I'll catch the culprit in no time. I see. So, what are you doing here, miss? That's... Oh... Queen Egliet invited me. 
did she now? Yes. All right, then. Speaking of Eglit, have you seen her? I came here to get her, but someone locked me up in this chest. I, uh... Must be in her throne. Let's go look for her together. All right. Oh, by the way, miss, what's your name? We had a Lilliputian princess. Mine's Fleta. Oh. I'm sorry, I can't seem to remember my name right now. Really? That's weird. Sure is. Anyway, let's go look for Egliette. I have a few royal matters to address with her. Alright. Let's go find Eglit. I need to talk to her. Can't go this way yet. I need to go look for Eglit. Pumpkin? Pumpkin! Princess Fleta, it sure is nice to see you again. Tell me, who locked me up inside that chest? Very sorry, Princess, but I don't know who did it. Ooh. You worthless wretch. Hmph, let's go. I'm sorry, Princess. Is that Egliet? Egliet! Egliet, what have they done to you? We need to save her. Alright, but how? I've got an idea. Hold me up. Fleta, that hurts. Shut up, just hurry. Just a little bit more. I'm trying. Oh, Gliet. Is, is she alright? Uh, huh? I'm glad. But she's ripped apart. Ah, don't worry, Fleta. I know how to sew. You do? Yes. Hmm, let's see what you can do then. Here. Hard hurting you'll pay a hundred times over. I'll try my best. There, she's all ready. Oh. Oh, Gliet, I'm so glad you're all right. Everything will be fine now. I'm here with you. What was that? You didn't see who it was? That's fine, all that matters is that you're safe now. Thank you so much for saving Egliette. Oh no, it was nothing. No, no, I insist. Egliette and I want to invite you to come play with us at my dollhouse. Would you like to come? Really, can I? Of course. Come on now, let's go. My favorite color is pink, what's yours? Oh, I like red. That's such an old lady's color. Your hair is so long, it's really pretty. Thank you, Fleta. Your eyes are really sparkly, they remind me of cherries. Really? Uh-huh, they would make really pretty marbles too, don't you think? Hmm. Fleta, does Eglet ever talk? Yes, she does. But she only talks to me, I'm the only one who can understand what she says. I see. Hey, do you want to hear a song? Oh, all right.
Ah, oh, you sing really well, Fleta. I do, don't I? You always carry Egliot everywhere you go? Uh huh? We're never apart from each other. Isn't that right, Egliot? I really love coloring books. I'm really good at coloring. I really like them, too. We can color a book when you get to my dollhouse. Yes. I can't wait to show you my planetarium when we get home. You have a planetarium? Uh-huh, sometimes I even fall asleep there watching all the stars. That must be wonderful. How did you meet Agliette? Well, that's a long story. Do you want to hear it? Yes. One day I was taking a nap in the garden as always. But it took too long and the next thing I knew I was already really late. I decided to stay outside and watch the stars. And suddenly I saw a big, big shooting star. I noticed it was heading in my direction, so I decided to catch it. The shooting star was Egliette. She was a gift from the skies. Ah, huh? oh, really? Uh-huh, she's very, very, very special to me. She's my one and only shooting star. That's amazing, Fleta. Isn't it? And we have looped. Let's go already. I don't want to stay here any longer. Alright, so I can't go right, probably can't go down. Pumpkins are the same thing. <laughs> it seems everything's alright, but thanks to you. I was just trying to be nice. So the, yep, it is just a loop. Now we can. Step back a little. I'm going to do a magic trick. Magic trick? Do you know how to do magic? Uh-huh. Now watch. 